Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda. If you're new here, today we're going to be reacting to top 10 scary evil Krampus facts you need to know. Last, no, two videos ago we just reacted to five Krampus facts that will haunt you. So today we're learning more facts. So if they repeat, they might repeat. I'm not sure. I've never seen this video, obviously. So before we get started, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on social so we can become friends. Check out the last video if you haven't seen it. And let's just get started. What kind of goat walks on its hind legs? His name is Krampus. Krampus has big horns, dark hair, fangs, and a long tongue. He is known as an anti-Saint Nicholas, but he lashes out on the naughty children. He's a half goat, half demon beast, who isn't afraid to beat children into being nice. If that doesn't work, he supposedly hauls them down into the fiery pits of hell to teach them a lesson. Well, how's it going YouTube? I'm real for this one, Landon Dalitzing, and welcome back to a brand new Most Missing Top 10 video. This is the Top 10 Scary Evil Krampus Facts You Need to Know. Let's talk about his appearance in at number 10. What the heck is the Krampus? What does he look like? Although Krampus has a ton of different variations from around the world, he's usually depicted as a hairy beast with hooves and horns of a goat. So some he has a long pointed repeats, tongue that rolls out of his mouth, and he has sharp looking fangs. Krampus carries top. around chains that so symbolize the be, devil, and he also has a basket one, full of birch branches. So I'm not sure why. I mean, what does he use the birch for? Does he build stuff when he's bored? Well, we'll get into that a little bit later in this video. Krampus also has one human foot and one hooved foot, oh, which actually makes me feel that. very uncomfortable. That's weird. Krampus is an evil Christmas demon, and this takes us into number nine. So basically, Krampus is, you know, the wicked version of Santa Claus. His main mission in life is to punish children and their parents if they're being naughty. And that's if they're disobedient or if they've lost their Christmas spirit. If the people that he captures and punishes do not feel any remorse, well, he will drag them to the underworld and they will never be seen or heard from again. So obviously something must have happened to this guy Krampus during his childhood because why is he doing this? He wants people to be good and to believe in Christmas, but then he does it the wrong way. Maybe he didn't get the love he needed when he was a kid. Maybe he was on Santa's naughtiness and he didn't like being there. He didn't like every year getting cold. Although he probably had sick barbecues. <laughs> okay, there's more than just one evil Krampus lurking around and the scary fact comes in at number eight. Many people believe that there is only one version of Krampus in all of the folklore, but they are sadly mistaken. Krampus is just one of many horned demons that can come snatch you and throw you into a sack for the night, especially if you haven't been nice this year. So make sure you guys are all being nice. So how so many of these scary beasts are out there? Well, the legend doesn't say exactly. All I know is that none of us are safe and you better hope that you were good this year or else Krampus, Krampus is gonna be paying you an unpleasant visit. Number seven, we're talking about the Krampus Festival. A festival that you will never see this brown guy at. I mean, would you guys believe me if I told you guys in parts of Europe, drunk men will dress up as Krampus, come to your house, scare you to death, but then you're supposed to invite them in for a drink? Is this real life right now? I actually have the answer for this one, yeah. I think it is. These men will dress up in Krampus costumes and then they will go to a kid's bedroom window to basically scare the hell out of them, but then their Good. parents will let them into the house, offer them a stiff drink. These drunken Krampus lookalikes will keep doing this all night until they have covered the entire town. Actually, you know what? I don't believe that this is real, but sometimes things get way out of hand and they have been known to beat people in the streets with birch sticks. Huh. So if I were you, I would go into full purge mode. I'm not talking about going out there and killing all the Krampuses. I'm talking about boarding up your windows, lock your doors, and never answer the door for anyone on that night. Next up on our list, number six, where did he come from? Well, his name was derived from the German word Krampen, which means claw, and he is said to be the son of hell in Norse mythology. 
Hell is a goddess who ruled the underworld, so it's pretty clear that Krampus has some evil blood running through his veins. It's believed that people created him as a way to scare their children into behaving. I mean, that, that would work on me. I'm not a dad I mean, yet, but couldn't we just use some positive reinforcements instead of threatening them with nice a demon? Krampus has been feared for many years, and children are scared of him to this day. Yeah, I wonder why. But you know what? He's so overly commercialized now, he might be starting to lose his edge. He's Santa's partner in crime, and this brings us to number five. Okay, think of it this way. Krampus is Santa's right-hand man. It's kind of good cop, bad cop team, but they mostly torture children. On Christmas Eve, Krampus actually rides shotgun with Santa, traveling from house to house, but for those unfortunate kids who are bad, instead of getting coal in their stocking, Krampus will slither down their chimney to punish and brutally beat them. And this all happens while Santa well, uh, he's still on the roof. He's patiently waiting up there, sipping on hot cocoa in his sleigh. So, in a way, isn't Santa kind of evil too? He knows what's going on. He knows that that's these kids true. are being tortured, but he doesn't do anything to stop them. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the price they pay for not being good throughout the year. Next up on our list, and at number four, he's part of a whole evil Christmas family. If you guys thought only Krampus and the Grinch were the evil monsters of Christmas, well, you'd be sadly mistaken. And that's because according to the Christmas lore, Krampus is surrounded by a big evil family made up of evil helper elves and also evil <laughs> demon brothers and sisters. Apparently yes. there are 13 demons that hang out with Krampus, and some of them are called the Door Slammer, the Window Peep the sausage snatcher and the doorway sniffer. I have no idea who named these demons. Personally, I think their names need a lot of work, but don't be fooled. These demons are supposedly very evil and they have the potential to mess you up. Krampus wreaks havoc on December 5th, not on Christmas Eve, and this takes us to number three. In many of the horror films based off of the Krampus legend, he tends to wreak havoc on Christmas Eve, but that's not actually the case. In most of the legends, Krampus actually comes out on the night of December 5th, which is also known as Krampus Knot or the Eve of Saint Nicholas Day. Kids will either leave a shoe or boot outside of their front door and then the next day they will check to see if Krampus left them a present in their shoe for good behavior or if they left them a rod for bad behavior. I'm pretty sure a rod is one of those like poking sticks that you, you poke fire with. But I don't even want to think about what Krampus is doing with that rod. Okay, he abducts wicked children, and this scary fact brings us to number two. According to an old legend, Krampus lives in the realm of the dead, but once a year on December 5th, he is allowed to leave his depressing and gloomy home to travel out into the human world to capture and punish wicked children. In some stories, he steals children, torments them, or drags them to hell for the night. He is also known to night? stuff children into his sack, take them away to to his lair and torture them for hours and hours. So I guess the moral of the story is here, make sure that you guys are good, you know, every single yeah, day of real. the year because you might be paid a visit from the evil Krampus himself. Krampus Punishments tackles its way on this list in at the number one spot. When it comes to punishments, Krampus doesn't go easy on his victims. First, he will resort to beating kids with birch rods and ripping their ears off. He will also oh, rip God. out their pigtails and force them to beg for mercy. But some of his more brutal punishments include leading children off a cliff, putting them in shackles and baskets, throwing them into oncoming trains, or Krampus will drown them in ink and fish out the corpse with a pitchfork. Krampus what? is like the most savage version of the Grinch, but at least the Grinch had a heart. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. That's true. The Grinch did have a heart. He knew it was fixed too, so. So, what did you think about that? There were some new facts in there. Like I said, that's terrifying and I'm just gonna be a good little angel and then get some presents from Santa. So, let me know what you think about that down below. Or, if there's any facts that weren't in there because in a couple, in a couple of videos, we're gonna react to Krampus sightings. So, I wanna know all the facts we can before we get to that video so leave them down below if you know any and make sure to like this video if you liked it subscribe turn on your post notifications so you can see when the next video comes out follow me on social so you can become friends and i will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching bye